Hello friends, welcome to Programming Concepts. My name is Amit and this is part 27 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this video, we will talk about what is layout view in .NET Core MVC. This is continuation to part 26, use bootstrap in .NET Core MVC. So please watch it before proceeding to this one. I shared the link in the description. Let's get back to Visual Studio and this is the project which we are working on. Let's run the program first. If you look at the header, you can see there is a logo and a few links. If you look at the bottom, you can see the copyright footer. Now if we create another page, say add new employee or about us or contact us or anything, most probably both header and footer will remain the same. So it is advisable to reuse the same code instead of repeating it every time we create the new page, right? So layout page is one of the option to achieve this for repeatable layout purpose like header, footer, links, etc. Let's get back to our slide and see the definition from Microsoft. So what is layout? Most web apps have a common layout that provides the user with consistent experience as they navigate from page to page. The layout typically includes common user interface elements such as app header, navigation, or menu element and footer. Common HTML structures such as scripts and style sheets are also frequently used by many pages within the app. All of these shared elements may be defined in a layout file, which can then be referenced by any view used within the app. Layouts reduce duplicate code in views. Let's see how we can create layout page in our project. Steps are simple. Let's get back to Visual Studio. And this is our folder structure. So right click on shared folder. So why shared folder? So it is advisable to place layout page in shared folder because it is not specific to any controller. If you look at our index view, it is placed under employee folder because it is specific to employee controller. But layout is not specific to any controller and will be shared among multiple views. So place it in shared folder. All right. So right click on shared folder, add new item, and then search for layout. You will get razor layout. And the default name is underscore layout.cshtml. You can see the extension is still the same, cshtml. You can name it anything, but for now, let it be underscore layout. Click on add. You can see it is a normal HTML template. It already contains code which is supposed to be common to all HTML pages like HTML tag, head, title, body, etc. Also, we have a couple of razor tags. The first one is viewback.title, which I believe you can see it is there to provide the title of your page. We haven't talked about the viewback yet, so leave it for later videos. And the second one is render body, which is where your content of view will be rendered. If it is confusing at the moment, do not worry. Everything will be clear in just a bit. Now we know that header we created in our index view is reusable. So let's cut and paste it here. So go to index.cshtml, cut the nav element, and paste it to our newly created layout page. Similarly, we have a footer. Let's quickly cut and paste that as well. So place footer below render body as render body is the section where content of index view will be rendered. We also have bootstrap.css as well. Let's cut that as well and paste it into the head section. And let's run the program. Oops, header gone, footer gone and we have a table with no design. Can you guess why? It's simply because we haven't told our view to use our layout page. Let's quickly do that as well. 
So within our index view at top, right add curly braces open. Layout is equal to specify the path. So tilde sign slash views slash shared. And within shared, we have underscore layout dot CS HTML. Curly braces close. Or if you don't want to type the whole on the absolute path, you can just write underscore layout without extension. This will automatically look for an underscore layout view within the shared folder. Let's save the page and refresh the page. And you can see the output is as expected. All right. In layout, we also have concept of sections. A layout can optionally reference one or more sections by calling render section. Sections provided a way to organize where certain page elements should be placed. Each call to render section can specify whether the section is required or optional. What does that mean? Let's see that in action. So there is certain JavaScript that is useful to a particular views only. Now because these JS are not useful on every page, there is no point to include them in the layout pages. So to organize them better, let's provide a section on the layout page. So let's create a section for scripts just before the end of the body tag. So add render section. And the first parameter will be name. Let's name it scripts. Next, specify the comma and type required. Here you decide whether to make this section optional or not. Let's make it mandatory for now. So the required is true. Let's save and refresh the page. And you can see the error. And the error is the layout page, which is slash views. Within views, we have shared folder. Within shared folder, we have layout.cshtml. Cannot find the section scripts on the content page. And our content page is views slash employee slash index.cshtml. So let's create this section in our content page as well. Let's go to index view.cshtml. Let's type add section scripts curly braces open, curly braces close. And within this section, you can reference a JavaScript. So let's use jQuery.js. So let's type script type is equal to text slash JavaScript. And location, so location specify with the help of source. SRC is equal to tilde sign slash lib slash jQuery slash jQuery dot JS. Let's save and refresh the page. Working as expected. Let's see the page source. You can see our script is placed after the footer, right? So let's quickly change the position of the script section and place it at the top. All right, let's save and refresh the page once again. Go to its source. And you can see it is still at the bottom, even though we place the section at the top in our content page. So it doesn't matter where you placed this section on the content page, the position is decided at the layout page level. Hope you understand the basics of layout page. I'll write them. That's it in this video. If you have any queries related to the content of this video, do ask me in comments. Till then, thanks for watching.